The channel is growing really rapidly right now and because of that there's a lot of new subscribers asking a lot of the same questions that I've already answered. And uh, a lot of you guys want to know about the shop and the question I'm getting most regarding the shop is whether I'm going to do like a Patreon or a GoFundMe or Kickstarter or anything like that. And I'm on the fence about it because I don't like asking you guys for money. I want to be able to do this not on my own. I want to do it with your help but I don't want to have to ask you for money. I, I, don't, I don't want handouts. That's, I started this business. I had the money for the business. I promise you. I did not start this the way it, it seems, okay? It was not as uh, poorly planned as it, it, it appears to be. And I understand this has been a long process, but it wasn't supposed to be. Really, honestly, if everything had worked out the way it was supposed to, I should already be open. Unfortunately, that's not what happened. So, had things worked out the way they were planned, I may have never come back to YouTube. And <clears throat> things kind of have a way of working out. But I came back to YouTube essentially because I needed an alternative source of income. And I knew I had partnership on this channel and I knew it wouldn't take much to to get together another community and, and really push my videos and, and make some money at this and get the shop open that way. And then once the shop's open, obviously I'll have access to all kinds of products and and new information and I'll have people coming in here talking about skateboarding all the time and sparking more ideas and I'll still have this place to make videos. Essentially I'll be able to make money, I'll, I'll be able to make a living as a skateboarder without ever having to go professional or, or be involved directly in the industry just by owning a shop and having a YouTube channel. That's what this is all about. But again, back to the campaigns, GoFundMe, Kickstarter, Indiegogo, whatever it happens to be, just because somebody suggests it doesn't mean that they're actually willing to contribute and I prefer to say contribute as opposed to donate because I don't you're, you're actually helping me achieve a dream. You're, you're contributing to something. You're not just giving me money, okay? I'm not going to go blow it on something unrelated to the channel. Any money that I make on this channel goes directly back into it in one way or another, whether it's to take a skate trip or, or buy new gear, buy new stuff for my camera, whatever it is, you know. Right now, it's all going back into the channel. I'm reinvesting it to help the channel grow. And it's starting to pay off, which is great, but... I need it to happen a little bit faster, and that's where these these campaigns come in. That's it'll kind of it'll kickstart. Imagine that it'll kickstart the business. So I'm curious as to what you guys think about the whole situation. Whether you would be willing to contribute, what kind of a campaign you would want to contribute to. Maybe you don't even know what any of those things are. They're all different forms of crowdfunding with different uh, various perks and things like that. If I do make a Patreon or a Kickstarter or a GoFundMe or whatever, what kind of uh, perks could I have for you guys? Do you want to do like Google Hangouts? Do you want shout outs and videos? Do you want to pick a video topic? Uh, these are all things that I need to know. This is all very helpful information to me and it's stuff that I can't really gather <laughs> just by asking an individual because each individual has their own ideas of what they can participate in, what they can do to help. Maybe you can't do anything. Maybe all you can do is promote it. That's fine too. Just let me know that. Let me know that you're willing to promote it on your Instagram or your YouTube or Facebook or whatever. So at least I have an idea of how many people are going to be helping me get the message out. Okay? And I'm sorry to all of you new subscribers. This isn't something that I wanted to spring on you guys right now. It's a little bit untimely, but people are asking this question and I need to answer it in a video because I can't just be typing out the answer every day. So that's what this is all about. And I will be doing more shop updates in the near future, but I want to do them a little bit more in depth and kind of cover everything because while I was making them, they were happening in real time. I was giving real time updates as to what was going on. I want to wrap it all into one clear, concise video and that might take some, some jump cuts or editing or a script or something just to keep everything straight in my mind and keep the, the timeline accurate. So it's gonna take some time to get together and make sure that everything is right so that I can tell you guys the full story in one shot. That way I don't have to keep making update videos or, you know, rehash old things that I've already done in their own video. I can put it all in one video. Video, video, video. <laughs> um, so I'm sorry this was really boring and it doesn't really have a lot to do with skateboarding. It does have to do with my channel, which is kind of a big deal. We're trying to get something going here and, and hopefully it's going to work out, but <clears throat> I need a little bit of guidance right now. So let's, let's figure this out. Help me out, all right, guys? And uh, obviously the biggest thing you can do, if you can't do any of the, you know, you can't contribute monetarily, you can always comment, you can always rate, you can subscribe, you can share my channels wherever you want. I got a slap thread the other day, which was pretty cool. That's a first. Those guys were actually really receptive to me, and that's pretty amazing because those guys are kind of assholes, and they were pretty cool to me, which is, uh, it leads me to believe I'm probably doing things the way they would want to do them, and that's good because those are the kind of guys that I'm, I'm kind of making these videos for. Not 
not necessarily for them directly, but for the next generation of people that wants to or aspires to be like those kind of skaters that 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 are a little bit more interested in skateboarding outside of just the physical act of participating in skateboarding. You know, some kids just go to skate parks and skate and that's it. They don't care anything about the industry or the news or the pros or anything like that. Some people do. Anyways, <laughs> this is probably a really long video and I'm sorry for that. Uh, I'll let you go now, alright? <laughs>